What is up guys, Ra here from Ra Reviews and today I'm going to be uh, showing you guys uh, that I found kind of like a hack, sort of, kind of, that lets you install jailbreak applications on your iPhone. And uh, first of all I want to thank um, or give a shout out to Toxic Injection on Twitter. He actually posted about this and I was like, oh, uh, can I have a bit more information? He just said that you could code sign, codes, yeah, code sign, and uh, pretty much install. So, uh, just uh, thanks to him for telling me that, and I pretty much figured out the rest. So let me start AirPlay onto my MacBook, so you guys can see my iPhone screen. Okay, so here I'm AirPlaying it. I'm done, and as you can see, I am on iOS 7, and I have two jailbreak applications down here. I have uh, Movie Box and Music. Uh, so let me go ahead and open up settings just to prove you guys that I am on iOS 7 and yes this is an iPhone 5 here we go settings about it's actually running a bit slow maybe because of the, uh, streaming so here we have uh, Rose iPhone AT&T and if you guys if this stupid thing comes out down above the carrier it says version 7.0 now uh, people are obviously some people are gonna start hating and be like no he's jailbroken blah 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 you can see I have iOS 7 if we look for Cydia nothing will be found um, and so yeah that's pretty much it you can pretty much tell it's iOS 7 uh, the wallpaper is not working for some reason, but you have control center and so forth. Now, movie box works, but music doesn't. So uh, I'm going to show you right here. Movie box opens and does its little animation. You get your movies. You can select uh, whatever one you want. Iron Man 3, for example. You are maybe not. Let's go ahead and put snitch. Okay, so you're not allowed to download them, uh, obviously, because you don't have access to your uh, root folder on your iPhone, but you are able to stream them. So, for example, here, uh, I'm streaming the movie onto my MacBook, and first of all, it should load, then it would uh, stream. So let's go ahead and wait a second for it to load. As you can see there, it has loaded up here the whole hour 51. And it should start playing at any moment. Any moment. So let me tilt the device. Oh, turn the rotation lock on. Tilt it now, and wait for it to play. It might take a while, uh, obviously, because I'm streaming it, but. Go ahead and fast forward. And there we go. As you can see, it is a plane, it started playing. So let's uh, load in this. So that is that. Let me go ahead and play you another movie uh, so you guys can see. Let's play Rego Ralph. Hopefully this one loads. Okay, here we go. Watch now. Wait for it to load. And there we go. Let's just start playing, like I said. And again, fast forward it. And it should play any moment now. Now, to do this, you actually need to have a developer account. You need to have the certificates uh, for your iPhone uh, from the developer account, obviously. And also, uh, either a Mac, PC, or something. You cannot do this straight from your iPhone because you will need to download some stuff. And also on the side of jailbroken device. So for example, I have my iPad with me. 
uh, over here, and the movie should start playing any second now. And the reason why you need a Joe Rogan device is to download the dev files that City get installed, and I'll show you in a second. So. This does work. Uh, this was pretty much one of the main reasons I jailbroke. So uh, after I got this on iOS 7 without jailbreaking, I'm pretty excited of that. So let me go ahead and um, exit out of this and go back to my home screen of my computer and show you what you need. So what I use for this program is iModSign. You can download this from imzdl.com. I'll have a link down below. And you will need to have your certificates on here, so browse, and you will be able to install them through there. Uh, certificate chooser, uh, you can select these, I would not move them. And so, to do the rest, I'm going to go and switch onto my iPad and start streaming onto my computer, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Oops. Okay, and uh, stream, 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 stream. Boom, MacBook. Okay. So here we have both devices: the uh, normal iPhone 5 and the unjailbroken iPad. I mean, and the jailbroken iPad. So you guys can see here I have a jailbroken because I have Barrel installed. So let me go ahead and open up Cydia. So um. Let's go into movie box. I already have it, so uh, it's just a demonstration to you guys on how to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel refreshing. And type in movie box. Okay, so movie box from, I think, insanely my repo. Yeah, I believe so. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to uninstall it, remove it from my iPad. And now you're going to need a file transfer application. So you could do SSH, you could do whatever. I have iExplorer on here. So you're going to navigate to what do you have here? Let it load. So you can see here. Okay, so once the iPad loads up, you're going to go into your root. You're going to go to private var and then cache or cache whatever uh, apt and here you're gonna have archives now once you download something from um, from Cydia they will show up here these are temporary so like when you respring or reboot they will delete so uh, I don't have uh, what's it called I don't have a uh, movie box on here so I have music dream board and this Dreamboard doesn't work obviously because you need more stuff. So I'm going to head over to the iPad, install, install. And now, uh, after it finishes, you do not want to press the button down here that says return to Cydia, respring, um, springboard, or whatever. Respring device, uh, I don't remember what it says, but you do not want to press it. The reason why is because, like I said before, it will delete it from here. So once that downloads, as you can see here, it's going to finish. So return to see it, don't click it. And you're going to go back into your archives and refresh. So refresh here. Now go back to your APT, archives. And you're going to see that I have movie box on here. So um, what you're going to do is download it or transfer it to your desktop. 
So you can see here. And then you're gonna be done with this. You can go ahead and uh, press return on Cydia. You're done with your iPad for now. Unless you wanna download more stuff, so I'm gonna airdrop. Off. Okay, so I'm gonna try this on my brother's iPod. So he has movie box. As well, he is on iOS 7, on jailbroken. And so, um, once you have the dev, you're gonna unzip it, and you will be greeted by this folder. And inside the folder, there is two tar.gz files. So you're going to unzip the data one. Okay, you're gonna be greeted by this folder right here. Now let me get the other iPod on here. So it should load in a second. Oh, there it is. Um, okay, so here's my brother's iPod. I don't know why it's on there. I'm gonna turn it off for now. Okay, sorry about that. So now uh, you have your data folder down here, and you have inside the data inside the data you have an applications folder. Open that, and there is Movie Box. There's nothing to it, uh, pretty much uh, just Movie Box. So now you're gonna create a new folder, name it Payload. Drag the folder or drag the app, drop it in there. You can delete uh, the devs, and you'll be left with Payload. You're going to compress it, compress it, sorry. And you can delete this after you're done compressing it. And so after it's done, you have to change the zip on here, it's a ZIP. You're going to change it to IPA, which is the um, the files of iTunes. Like the IPA is the application for iTunes. So once that's done, I'm, you're going to open up iMod Sign. And let me go into my iTunes and delete it so you guys can see it's legit. Music apps. So iMod Sign. I mean, movie box, sorry. Movie, 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 movie. Movie box, as you can see here. Delete app, move to trash, it's gone. So, back to iMod sign. You're going to drag and drop the payload, IPA, start job. It's going to strip it, it's going to code sign it, it's going to validate it and compress it back. And it should be back on your iTunes, as you can see there. So now I'm going to plug in my brother's iPod into iTunes and bring it back onto the screen. Okay, so you can see there we have both of them. So let me take mine off so you guys don't be confused. Okay. Whoa. Let me bring the iPod back on. Wherever the shit, there you go. So then, just to show you guys that I do not have movie bot. What the fuck? Alright, um, let's try it. Don't go in the house. To show you, I don't have movie bots. like so, no results, and um, let's go ahead and sync it to iTunes, so you can see there, not to be found around here, let's open up iTunes again, it's on here already, so let's go to devices, my brother's iPod, apps, movie, We'll install, apply. Now it's going to copy some of the apps he wants, or wanted, or had, whatever. Copy. Should be on the third page next to Starbucks. So let's go ahead and wait. 
over here. He's on the third page. First, second, third. Right here next to Starbucks. And you can see it is installing on here. So on here, let's wait for iTunes. Copying one of one, Ruby box. And going on here. So let's just wait for iTunes to finish syncing it. You should be good to go. So now, like I said, Muse uh, doesn't work because you don't have full access to your um, root folder. So it is going to crash and you can't even search a song, so that's pretty disappointing. Whereas Woovybox is just one application that connects to a web server. So it's really useful and you don't have to install anything else. So it's about to finish. And once it's done, you will be able to launch it and have fun. Okay, so it's almost done. All right, cool. So I finished on here next to Starbucks, like it said. Let's go ahead and open it. First time my crash it happened on my iPhone. So it's going to do the animation and hopefully it should work. There we go. So now you have movie box running on the iPod Touch. Just to prove you guys this is the iPod Touch, I will bring back my iPhone. So you can see it's two different devices. So there you go, iPhone on one side, iPod Touch on the other. They are both running movie box. Like so. So there it is guys, if you have the certificates, you are able to do this. Leave your comments down below on what you think of this. Um, I think it's really good, really awesome that I have movie box back on my iPhone because this was one of the main apps I used when I was jailbroken. So here's the iPod again. And yeah, stream movies for free through movie box without being jailbroken. This is Roa guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave your comments below if you need any help. Uh, message me if you need more help. And tell me what you think of this. Like I said, this is Roa, see you in a future video. Bye bye.